Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Zeth Naomi if you're new and in today's video we're gonna do a monthly reset. Well, today is February 1st. It is now the second month in the year and I can't believe it like January went like that. That's just telling you like this year is gonna go by so fast and you're not you're gonna be like what like when did that happen? And it's just crazy. It's so crazy. At the beginning of every month, I just like to do a few things just to put myself in a better headspace. I like to have a clear and focused mindset going into every month. So the first thing that I like to do is to clean my space. I'm not talking about a deep clean, just something, you know, to just put me in a better mood. Just having a clean environment can do so much for you. I don't know for you guys, but for me, it does so much. So I just do little things like wipe down my counters and stuff, make my bed, wipe down my mirrors, stuff like that. Just small little things just to put me in a better mood. Then I like to sit down and just change all the screens of um, everything that I have. So my iPad, my computer, and my iMac. Then I go on, go in and journal a bit. So first I like to set goals for the month, things that I didn't achieve in the months before. I put them in for this month and just try again at it even if i didn't get to that goal we gotta keep going we gotta keep trying until we reach our goals then i like to set big and small goals for the new month so something can be as small as making my bed every morning or drinking more water or just something small and then i like to do something bigger i don't know explore boston for a day some something bigger you know or save a hundred dollars this month just something bigger that that made me put in more effort, you know, to become the person that I want to become. And I like to go through my schedule for school. Um, I know my work schedule already, so that's kind of like stable. But my school schedule, like when my assignments are due, and I just like to write them out, have them have it there, so I know like when I should do everything. And now YouTube, since I started YouTube, I like to go out and plan my content. So videos that I like that I'm thinking of doing, I'll plan those. Um, when I want to record, when I want to edit, um, just stuff like that. Basically, that's it. I just, it's just putting yourself in a better headspace just so that you can progress and move further in the next month. We don't want to stay stagnant in 2022, guys. So every month, we're going to try and become a better version of ourselves than we were before. You guys know what we do. By now, you guys know. You guys know the drill. You guys are going to come with me. So first things first. I'm gonna clean up our space. for um, my iPad and my laptop 
it's really simple um, there's this person on YouTube um, named Janice Studies and she has a ton of videos about productivity, school related stuff like if you're interested in those kind of stuff, study tips, stuff like that um, and she's a great resource for like college tips and stuff like that so if you're in college and you feel like you're not being productive or not doing the goals that you want to achieve I would recommend going to her YouTube. She also has um, a website where she has um, her wallpapers for um, all the months, templates. She even has like a planner um, that she sells digitally and also an actual planner. Uh oh, guys! I don't think <laughs> I don't think she has any for the month of February. It is the first day of February so that could be why but usually she posts them like the day before so I'm just gonna either hold off on this or just look for another template because Janice's wallpapers aren't up as yet I'm just gonna go ahead and look for one on Google and I really like this one so I'm just gonna add that to my desktop I'm out of this one and then right click it and set as desktop picture Okay, so that one's kind of cute. I just like simple um, backgrounds just because, you know, it isn't doing too much and that's what I like about it. I would usually do the same thing for my iPad, but because her wallpapers aren't out as yet, I'm just going to go ahead and wait to do that because I love her wallpapers. Like They're so personalized and they just look amazing, so I'm just going to wait for her to release those. Okay guys, so what I like to do now is to just use my iPad. You can use a notebook, a journal, um, and even just to like write down your thoughts and make sure that you have something that, you know, you can go back and find. The app that I use um, on my iPad to plan everything is Notability. First and foremost, I like to go and make a list of all the goals that I want to accomplish for this month. Go back and look at the goals for last month that I didn't accomplish. Do more to make sure that I accomplish that goal this month. So I just set three goals for the month. It was both um, YouTube related and personal. So I guess I can share the YouTube one just because this is YouTube. My goal for YouTube this month is to gain at least 50 subscribers. Right now I think I'm at 27. If I continue to be consistent and do the things I'm supposed to do and want to do, I feel like I can hit 50 subscribers. So if you're watching this right now and you're not subscribed, it would mean the world to me if you help accomplish my goal. So next, what I like to do is plan out my next two weeks. Like I said before, I am using Notability for all of this and add on to the app. So the app itself, I believe it's $10, which isn't really that bad if you ask me. In the app, it has like a planner that you can download, but I think you have to be like subscribed to it. And I think that's like a dollar a month. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's what it is. And it comes with like a planner, and the planner has like monthly calendars, um, weekly um, lists, so you can do like your scheduling. Um, it also has, it has a ton of things to be honest. It has a goalkeeper, 
It has like these tabs that says yearly pages, productivity, financial, no paper, personal, health, entertainment, goals, projects, and under each of those are like subgroups with like a ton. So for productivity, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tabs, and it's daily routine, weekly routine, mind map, brain dump, task board, meeting notes, event planner, and travel planner. So this app offers like a lot, and that's why I love it. And I also use this app um, for to take notes for school and college. It's just I do everything with this app, so I really really love it. What I do is just go to the month that it is. I go to the week that I'm looking for and then I just plan out my week. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you gained or learned, incorporate something that I showed you into your monthly reset routine. And just remember that even though you didn't accomplish something in the previous month, doesn't mean that you can't accomplish that in the next month. We still have 11 months left in this year. We can make the most of it. And we can do that by setting realistic goals for ourselves and doing everything we can to reach those goals and I promise you if you set those goals and you actually do the things that you're supposed to do to reach them you will obtain them I promise you that thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope it helped in some way um don't forget to like this video leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel we're on our way to 50 subscribers I'll see you guys in the next video